Making changes to access policies is nerve-wracking. How can you be sure that the change that you're pushing won't break production? Risking disruption to your application is a valid concern and causes many to delay or even abandon plans to tighten permissions in their environments. But actively scoping appropriate permissions and enforcing the principle of least privilege is a huge part of maintaining security for your cloud deployment. After all, allowing access permissions to remain causes a risk of its own. This very common challenge is exactly what the Policy Simulator tool was built to address. Policy Simulator helps you determine what impact a policy change might have for your users so that it doesn't disrupt developer productivity or break an application. It goes beyond a static analysis or comparison of permissions. Instead, it collects and analyzes the 90-day access log history of your project, folder, or org to see if your proposed policy changes would actually affect your users. Let's head into the console to see how Policy Simulator works. Let's say you have a specific user with several admin roles, and you would like to change their access to better align with their essential needs. From the IAM and admin console, you can use the Edit Permissions pane to update the user's roles and then, directly from there, access Policy Simulator. Instead of making the permission changes by clicking Save, you can initiate Policy Simulator by clicking Test Changes. Policy Simulator will then take your proposed changes and run them through several steps. First, it retrieves the access logs from a project from the last 90 days. Then, it replays the access attempts using the current policy, where the user has the project owner role. Next, it replays the access attempts again using the proposed permissions policy, where the user doesn't have the project owner role, but rather the BigQuery admin role. Finally, it compares the results from the two replays and reports the differences between them. These differences are presented as access changes, which are access attempts that would have different outcomes under the proposed new policy versus the current policy. This proposed policy change has several access revoke changes being reported, which means that the user had access under the current policy, but will no longer have access when you implement the change. After reviewing the access changes, you can choose to apply the new policy directly within Policy Simulator tool. While our example shows policy changes for one user, this tool is especially useful when you're making bulk changes to policies across many users in your organization, which you can do with the API or CLI. It automates what could be a very cumbersome analysis. To summarize, Policy Simulator is an intelligent tool that helps you understand the impact of your policy changes before you make them through analyzing actual historical activity data. To learn more about Policy Simulator and the other tools that are part of Policy Intelligence Toolbox, check out cloud.google.com slash policyintelligence and stay tuned as we dive into more tools in the series. Thanks for joining.